Hey everybody, welcome to Titanium Training LLC. My name is Brian, I'm gonna be your, your exercise coordinator today. So here's a what you got to, yeah, you're gonna do some exercise, exercise. Yep, not gonna do that because that's that annoyed the crap out of me just listening to myself do that. So what we are gonna talk about is your exercise protocol for today, guys. Your exercise protocol for today, what you have is you have three sections of exercise and two, bang, count them, two, bang, bang, two one minute finishers at the end of your system two. Dang. Let's talk about your exercise. So here's what you guys got going on. So you have two exercises inside of each section. Each exercise is either seven each or seven total, depending on the exercise. Okay, so seven each, seven total, depending on the exercise. You're gonna go back and forth between the two exercises for seven minutes. Inside of seven minutes, your goal is to do as many rounds as possible. That is A-M-R-A-P or AMRAP, as many rounds as possible. So essentially is, so uh, a different way of explaining it, set a timer for seven minutes. You're gonna do one exercise, either seven each side or seven in total, do the other exercise, either seven each or seven total, and then you're gonna keep going, bang, 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 for seven whole minutes. Make sense? Cool. Also, you're gonna take a one minute break in between your sections. So you're gonna do this for seven minutes, take a one minute break, this for seven minutes, take a one minute break, this for seven minutes, take a one minute break. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't even know anymore. Uh, and then when you guys are done with all that fun stuff right there, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna find either with an analog clock or a timer on your phone, much like you use the analog clock or timer on your phone for the other sections, you're gonna do one exercise for one minute, take a break, and then you're gonna take a next, uh, do the next exercise for one minute. That is your protocol, that's how everything works. If you're still confused, that's okay, take a second, go back, like scroll back, I know you can like touch it with your finger and go Excuse me, that was rude. I'm gonna go back into the back end of the, um, or the top end of the explainer video telling you guys how the protocol works before you get into the exercises. So, with that being said, if you guys are ready, let's get on with the show. Yay. Woo. Woo, it's kind of shiny. It's kind of shiny. I don't know why it's so shiny. Okay. All right, hey guys. Now that we're done talking about my ball head and how I need to probably get a good, take a, take a razor to it, clean that thing up. Here's what you guys got going on inside of section one. Your two exercises for today. The first of two is the single arm clean. So with your single arm clean, here's what you're doing. You're not taking a rag and wiping down your counter. No, that's not what the clean is. What the clean is, feet between hip and shoulder width apart, okay? With your feet between hip and shoulder width apart, what you're going to do is you're going to take whatever implement you have, whatever weight piece that you have, and the idea is to start from between your knees, so slightly bend, here, let's do from a different angle. So you're going to slightly bend the knees there, so it's like a half a squat. You're going to start between the legs, and you're going to go here, boom, right to the shoulder, okay? Bracing the abs, so it's just down, bang, boom, bang, boom, okay? So the idea is to use your lower half to get that motion started. You're gonna do seven on one side, seven, bang, on the other side. If it's too much on your shoulder or anything like that to do that movement, because of the fact that it is a hip hinging motion, what I want you to do from here is just reach forward, push your hips back, and then stand up straight. Reach forward, push your hips back, and then stand up straight. This way you're still, like I said, you're still getting the hip hinge, which is supposed to activate your butt, and your hamstrings, just like that. Don't smack yourself because that might be injuring. I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Anyway, let's talk about the other. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> let's talk about the second exercise. Your second exercise is what's called an explosive push-up. So with this one, what you're doing, it's almost like you're drawing back the bow and then letting the arrow go. That's kind of the same principle. So you draw it back slow and then bang, you let it go. That's kind of how it works. So from the ground, here's what it looks like. If you have to do it on your toes, it's down slow, and then bang, up. Down slow, bang, up. 
Or if you need to do it from your knees, you can do it from your knees too. Same thing, down slow, boom, get it up. Down slow, boom, get it up. If you can't do it from the ground, that's okay. You can always use a bench. So, same basic principle. Down slow, uh, up, down slow, uh, and then up. If that's too much for your shoulders, there's one more version. Your next version, sitting down on the bench or laying down, <laughs> just like that. You can get two dumbbells, and then it's up fast, down slow. Up fast, down slow. Those are all the versions of the exercises for section one. Now that you're done with that, let's take a one minute break and go to section two. Okay, let's do section two. <laughs> I feel like I needed some weird 80s theme music in the back. Anyway, so what you guys decide for section two, what you guys have is you have two exercises once again. Um, I'll show you several different versions of that, and then we'll move on from there. So the first thing you have is a single arm kettlebell squat. All this means is you're going to be holding the dumbbell, kettlebell, or whatever weight implement that you have. You're going to be holding it in one hand while you squat. So if I, like I said, I put it in my right hand, I'm going to squat seven times, and then I'm going to put it in my left hand, and then squat seven times. Okay, can't do that because it's hard on certain body parts. Drop the weight. And then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna do seven or 14 body weight squats because theoretically, or technically speaking, you're doing 14 squats. If you can't do just regular body weight squats without any implements, like it hurts, then what I want you to do is take a bench or a chair and then you're just gonna sit down, up, sit down, up, 14 times. That's your exercise for the first one. Let's talk about exercise number two, which is a 2.0 arroyo. That's, I don't, I don't know. I just, make, I just make things up. I'm not really a good trainer at the end of the day. I'm more of an entertainer, really, when you think about it. Because all this stuff is just, it's very simple in my brain. So my brain goes, let's make it exciting and fun. So what do you do? I make words up and then I just say things randomly. And then I wave my hands around. That's what, uh, uh. anyway, let's talk about the two point row. <laughs> so with the two point row, you have several different options. Here's option number one. So you have one foot forward, one foot back. And the idea is the hand with the weight is the same of the leg that's back for, in this case, in this video, you see my right leg's back and my left leg's forward. So I'm going to take whatever weight implement or thing I have, and I'm going to be here starting off at the knee, and then I'm going to pull my hand into my hip, driving my elbow back behind my back. So it's just bang, bang, seven on one side, seven on the other. If that's too much on your back or on your stomach, like it starts to hurt in this area right here, that's cool. Find yourself a bench or a chair and actually put one hand on the bench or chair feet between hip and shoulder width apart, and then you can row that way, okay? Because what happens is when you put your hand on a bench or a chair, you're no longer over relying on your, on your uh, core to hold you up. Same basic principle, seven on one side, seven on the other side. Back and forth between those exercises. Seven total minutes. Is everybody ready? Fantastic. Let's go to section three. Now it's time for section three. Are you guys ready? Of course you are. You guys are always ready. You guys are always prepared. You guys are always ramped up and awesome and ready to go. And I genuinely appreciate that, which is why I try to make these videos as, ex I try to explain as much as possible. I know they seem a little bit long and I seem a little bit long-winded, but the point is to make sure that you have several different variations depending on all levels of your specific workout protocols. And because obviously I can't be there, I need you to use your best judgment. And if something hurts, um, don't do it, honestly speaking. 
If you can eliminate exercises. I have done it before and I've done it for many clients before because sometimes we just can't find an alternate and that's okay. It's okay not to do a specific exercise. Maybe I should have an explainer video about that. I don't know, we'll figure that out as we go. But until I can get with you and help you out to get you in the specific pattern that's gonna help you out, the idea is, like I said, I, we eliminate exercises. Why? We want you to move, we want you to do things, but until we can correct the movement pattern, it's very, very hard from a distance to say, okay, I need you to do this or I need you to do that. Which is why I have a firm believing and a firm understanding that there will never be a technology that tells me exactly how you're gonna be able to do something. In-person consultations are the easiest way for me to do it. So with that, let's talk about section three. I apologize about that little bit of an intro. Let's talk about section three. The first thing you guys are doing is the bird dog plank. So with the bird dog plank, what you guys are looking at, the first aspect of the exercise is actually getting into the plank position. So when in the plank position, the idea is on the elbows. So what you're gonna do is while you're on your elbows, yes, can be, that's better, this is better, this is, this is the angle, yeah, this is the angle right here. So what you're going to do, elbows, hands, and the idea is you're gonna put one arm out, one leg, the opposite leg back, and then down, out, and then down, out, and then down. If it's too much from your toes, that's okay. Drop to your knees, that's okay too. Out and down, out and down. Woo! <laughs> Woo, that wears me out just showing you guys exercises. It's been, a, it's been a good day, it's been a good day. So what you're looking at from here, if it's too hard to get to the ground, that's okay. Let's, ooh, pick ourselves up. And then we find our trusty bench or chair or couch or whatever we have that elevates the body. So you're here, same thing. Opposite arm, opposite leg, opposite arm, opposite leg. Seven on each side. So those are your three versions of that. The next thing you have is the get up, sit up. This can be used with little to no weight, heavy weight. Honestly, it's completely up to you. I always say, you know, use caution when doing this because it does require a lot of ab work and a lot of ab strength to be able to do it. So the first couple of versions of this from the ground are as follows. So it's here, <laughs> oh my goodness. So hand that's up is the knee that's up and then what you're going to do is use the flat arm. So the opposite arm, what you're going to do is you're going to use it to help you get up. That's the whole point of that arm, is for you to roll over onto your elbow, pointing that hand to the sky, and then you're going to up on your hand, and then you're going to bring it back. Let me get a better angle. Better angle. I know. Get out of the way, bench. <laughs> I said bench. I promise I said bench. <laughs> So what you're doing is, like I said, you're rolling up onto your elbow and then up onto your hand and then you're going back down. You can do this with or without weight. Like I said, I, honestly, I usually suggest doing without weight first to see how it feels. And then as you get the first couple of rounds of it out of the way, if you feel comfortable, add a little bit of weight. If you can't do it from the ground, that's okay. Like you can't do the get up, sit up part. So the next thing I'm gonna have you do, let's scoot back a little bit so you can get a little bit more body in frame. So the next thing I'm gonna have you do is honestly, whew, I'm gonna start you with like a different version of a, um, of a runner sit up. You just do seven, like you just touch your knee, touch your knee from the ground, seven on one side, switching it out, crunching your ab, touching your knee, seven on the other side. If that's too much to do that, that's cool too. Your third version of this one, both hands on the ground, and then just do 14 crunches. Because technically speaking, that's kind of what you're doing. So, those are your exercises for section three. This one, this part of the video ran a little bit long because I had a fun explainer in the beginning, and I'll explain it again in the end. So, that's section three. Let's go on to your finishers. All right, 
I guess we should finish it off. Okay, so what you guys got going on in the last two minutes of fun? You got one minute of one exercise, you're gonna take a break and you got one minute of another exercise and then you're done today. Chop sake, all done, all right? So what you're gonna do, the first thing you're gonna do is mountain climbers. There's really only a couple of versions of this. I'll show you the ground version and then the elevated version. So from the ground, your mountain climbers, push up position, one minute. Bench position, same thing. One minute. That's what you guys got for the mountain climber. Super simple, honestly speaking. Um, the last thing you have after that is jumping rope for a minute. Now with the jump rope, you can do several different versions of that. That's completely up to you. The one I usually suggest is either with or without the jump rope. That's cool. Um, if that's too much, you can run in place for a minute. That's cool too. You can do jumping jacks for a minute. If you wanna do jumping jacks, I mean, there's multiple different things that you can do inside of a minute to help you get your heart rate up. Because that's really all I'm trying to do with both exercises. You're gonna do both of those exercises, just one minute each, and then you guys are all done today. So, at the end of each video, I'm trying to push off a small message just to everyone that's consistently watching these things right now. If you are getting these videos from me, please feel free. I want you to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Um, it's very, very important that you get all this information out about all the fun things that you're doing and about all the fun things we're doing to help you do the fun things that you're doing. Because the end of all of this, word of mouth is the best way to spread the message of love that we're trying to spread to everybody, okay? Um, after we're done with these, all these workouts and all these fun things, I'm really hoping, my biggest hope, my biggest dream, my biggest thing, is to make sure that everybody still keeps moving because movement is important. Movement is important for your immunity. Movement is important for your psyche. Movement is important for just overall health in general. You do not have to be at the top level of elite athleticism to get the benefits of movement in general, okay? I, I try my best to, to preach this message. I mean, of, of course, in my head, for myself, what I preach to myself is, you know, 1% more every day, you're getting better every day. Get hard, stay hard, be hard. It's just, and it's just how I preach to myself. But the message I'm preaching from myself to you is the fact that you can get to that level. You can be, if that's what you want, you can be that person one step at a time. Because that's how I do it. You know, I always have, the, you know, like I said, you go, go do the things and be hard and all that stuff. But I know I'm doing it one step at a time to where eventually I become that person that embodies the message that I'm trying to preach to you guys. Because that is how the system works. That's how everything works. That's how you just have to trust that it's going to work. Nothing is going to happen overnight unless you start working overnight. I mean, really. <laughs> but the, 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 the overall scheme, the overall message of everything, though, is like we are trying to help you be better. And that's all we're trying to do. We're trying to spread the message that all it takes is a little bit of effort on your part to be better. What you do today will influence tomorrow and so on down the line. But also at the same time, real fast, also understand these messages may not be for you. If the message isn't for you, that's cool. Just keep scrolling past, get the workout done and have a nice night. I'm, I am not, um, I don't get upset either way. I just put out the message that I believe is the best message to put out. And that's it. So with that, um, the message is always with love. I always treat everything with respect and the dignity that it deserves, especially you as a human being. Because yes, you do. You deserve respect. You deserve everything that you want in life. You just have to remember that you gotta put the effort in to get it. That's really, it's, it's personal responsibility. So with that, I love you. Always love you guys. Keep doing your thing. Be awesome, be great. Don't stay up late, get sleep, drink water, take a 10 minute walk, um, and just be good to each other. All right, have a good day.